Hey there, Cactus. You and me, let's play some modern Skyblock 2. Yeah! Oh. Howdy, folks. Croc the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the modern Skyblock 2 server, hanging up here at my tree farm area because I'm on a quest. I'm on a quest for sugarcane. Yes, I want sugarcane. Because. Uh, here, here's the thing sugarcane. To get sugarcane, the only way I really have, other than going with the, the, the environmental tech botanic uh, miner, which is way down the road, I don't have any way near to get that, no, no, it's not happening. This, life infusion, I can do that. I can do glistening melons on a pumpkin and that'll get me a sugarcane and I need three of these glistering melons. And I, I always call them glistening. No, they're glistering. Uh, yes, because I paid attention. Anyway, this is a chemical reactor, and I've got that. I don't have the starlight infusion um, set up yet, but I've got the chemical reactor, so I can do that. got plenty of nuggets, got plenty of, of the melon slices. But I need nine and a half hearts. I don't have nine and a half hearts. I have, well, if we take a look, I've got nine hearts because I've been doing a little bit of eating. And uh, the food items here, this one shows that the applesauce here has not been eaten yet. Uh, once you eat 50 food items, then you get an extra heart. And I'm on a quest to eat a second group of 50 items so that I get a second heart, and that will give me 10 hearts, and then I can do uh, the, the infusion and get me some sugar cane. Yeah, okay, so well, the thing to do that, I need to get into Pam's, and let's go take a look at Pam's. And Pam's has tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff here, which is great. And I wonder if, yeah, I can't, oh, I can look at these. See, this one shows I've not eaten the candleberry, but I have eaten the blueberry. See, it says right there, eaten, assisted in adding hearts. So this is really cool. I can look and see what I have or have not eaten. Anyway, I need to get these seeds or these, these uh, items, and the way to get these... Uh, it's not that. Uh, the, the easiest way to get these is not to show it here. Let's go show it through the quest book. Uh, kitchen. Got some kitchen stuff going. Uh, to this here, gardens. I needed all of these gardens. Arid gardens, frost shaded, soggy, tropical, and windy. Now, if, if I were just roaming around the, the landscape, I could find these just scattered around in different areas. Like, that, that's in the desert, that's up in the, the taiga, uh, roofed forests, marshy areas, that's jungle, plains. I, I, I'm thinking that's kind of how, how they go. Anyway, uh, the easiest way to, to do that is with gardens. Well, looking at gardens, this needs a grinder of some sort on leaves. So the frost garden needs spruce leaves, which grows in taiga. So that obviously makes sense. Well, I showed off um, playing with that earlier, and I've come to the conclusion. Yeah, it does not work. I went, even went ahead and made the diamond one here. Yeah, I mean, I've got diamonds, so that's not, that's not a problem. I, I went over there and I tried grinding some of these, and I also went in my little grinding area and took, with my shears, I went ahead and, and got like two stacks of each of the different types of woods here and ran it through my little grinder area. Let's go fly over here. Oh, I love to fly. It's, it's so nice. Uh, went... And I ran those through this grinder setup with just my diamond grinder. And I got squat out of here. I got a few saplings, but none of these. And I was looking at that and going, hey, hey, this right here, grinder on the leaves gets me a shaded garden that says 25% of the time. The secret was to go through and do this manually. I, I cannot do this. Uh, automated and that's the issue so you know I came over here and I just there you go very first time I got me a frost garden and it, it took a while I went and, and gathered up something like eh, five five to nine of these it just I just went ham on on the, the, the system with this and the interesting thing is and I got some comments from people was that uh, don't vein mine these things because each one needs a, a, an action but did you notice that 
it's like the leaf block is still there. It's really annoying. And oh, they got a second uh, frost garden. So it took quite a while, and it left these these phantom leaf blocks that, that uh, it didn't like. Uh, so I chopped down the trees, and they all disappear after a while. So I decided to try something, and I've been avoiding looking over there, but I'll show it off now. I yeah, I, I increased my garden area because I went ahead and I processed all of these and got the various bits and stuff out of all of this, and. Because we upgraded to the let's see 2.6.1 um, or 2.6.2.2, uh, they they all get upgraded. And I love the little googly eyes. Uh, and I tried planting some of them in here. Now this is a taiga biome that I'm in right now, and the tropical garden just does not spread here. Doesn't do it at all. Some of these other ones do. So I, I also built out here to see, and this is a plains biome. Uh, over here and so I, I I dropped some stuff down and these didn't really spread but others spread and then finally the arid one uh, the arid garden I went ahead and did that on sand and that worked uh, if you crouch and break these then you get them back and if you just regular break you get items out of here let's go ahead and get all these items out and let's see any of these that I haven't eaten no I've, I've eaten all of these things and an egg. Doesn't actually count as anything, but you know, that's okay. So uh, I went ahead and came over here and I went through and everything that I got, I, I did strips of four. I, I find that works out really, really nicely because the, the hydrating water underneath the, the jack-o'-lantern here goes out to four. So it just works very nicely. I could, I could do less than that. You know, I could do like two each, uh, but now nah, this is this is easy enough to, to, to go through, and as near as I can tell, that's all of them. I, I broke a whole bunch, and I didn't get anything more. Now, there I may have missed a few, but I, I think I've got pretty much everything here. This gets me a really good beginning, so then uh, what I can do is I can come over here, and if I need to harvest some more stuff, just kind of right-click as I go along, and I get tons and tons and tons of this stuff. And you know, that, that's why I haven't been really harvesting over here, because there's so much of it. Uh, what I do like doing is coming, grabbing my hatchet, and I'll, I'll come and chop these guys as I see them, uh, just because they're kind of slow. But that's okay. Uh, and that's given me a whole bunch of crops. And each one of these things is a little food that can be eaten, which is very nice. Uh, so that's how I got my first 50 hearts was eating through here. The next thing I did is I came over to this. This is my little fishing hole. And uh, I got the diamond fishing rod from all the loot packages that I, that I got. So I'd come in here and just aim down. And then I'd wait. And wait. <laughs> and wait. And wait, I'm not going to wait anymore. Uh, just because it, it could take up to five years. Uh, it seems like <laughs> to go through that and wait for those. But there were a whole bunch of fish that uh, showed up. And those provide food too. So I extended this up a little bit higher. Here's my enchanting area. That's how I enchanted my armor. And, and I love these because they do four levels each. So I've got six here. Two, two, and one hiding in the corner, so that all works. And I figured over here I could do my cooking for blockheads area, and it was one of the the, the questies to do. Let's go back, and so I went ahead and, and uh, did all the bits as long with all the, the cooking utensils. So this is all the stuff I've I've been doing while uh, you were off doing other fun things. I was over here. Uh, this one I've eaten. Uh, no wait, no. These are food items that I haven't eaten yet, and these are food items that I have. Uh, so I've eaten all those those things. And so I need to eat a bunch more of these. And that, I think, will pretty much be all of the 
raw foods or source foods. Uh, what else that I need to do is go through and lay out this section and put it all together, hang these pots and whatnot in place so that I can go ahead and do the, the rest of the cooking that this will allow me to do. And uh, the cow in the jar, I got that as, again, one of those recipes, which I'm really glad that I got just because I don't want to make it. And I'll, I'll show you why. If we look at the recipe, you make one of these milk jars, you put a cow on top of it. Well, you saw the cow that I had, uh, an empty spot, and then you drop an anvil on it. Well, it it's not like I care because it's it's a it's just a cow. Who cares? You know. But steel. That's a lot of steel to make that. If it were iron, I'd have made it and not cared. But I'm glad that uh, I, I got that. Um, in, in the, the loot back bucket, so I'm happy for that. And, um, you know, I should actually uh, put that away. Because it's always good to put the... the whoa! Well, that's handy! Okay, so uh, we've got things set up. And the cow in the jar can go right there. Oh, and it's uh, generating milk. Thank you, Betsy. Uh, so yeah, I got everything set up here, and as long as these items are touching each other, uh, even vertically, then this all works. So the, the toaster item here, there, there's no interface on it, but it'll toast toast. <laughs> That's what toasters do. Uh, but this, you can put stuff into the, the, the counter, so it's like a chest worth of stuff. And we've got the double fridge here, because I, I like the taller fridges. Well, you know, you could have it smaller just to keep the same look, but nah. Uh, this acts like two chests, and I went ahead and shoved all the stuff that I had here into it. And it all works. So if I look here at the cooking table, this is the brains of the operation. Oh, here, let's talk about the oven. Uh, the oven here, uh, I need to get some charcoal for that. In fact, can we do that from here? Am I too far away? Oh, nope, I can still do it. Charcoal. Let's go ahead. Eh. Seven's probably enough. Actually, you know, let's do that because why not? That way, if it if it only needs a smidgen of a charcoal, it could do that. Anyway, uh, this will go ahead and automatically cook up stuff uh, in here, uh, like like a boiled egg. Uh, if we look at that, oh nope, that doesn't need it. Um, fried egg that doesn't need it either. Scrambled egg. But anyway, anything that needs that to cook, like a, a, a raw fish into a cooked fish, uh, a, a raw steak into a cooked steak, that would use this, and you could have up to nine things cooking simultaneously. Not sure, other than maybe we could have six items of raw food stuck here. I don't know. I, I've not played with it uh, that much. This is the sink. This is provides water for my recipe, so if I want fresh water here, I can just click it click it a second time and it makes it and I've made over a stack of these because the tank if you look up at the tank up there it's empty there's no water in it but if you right click it you get the little water it's full and it's perpetually full I was going to go ahead and put that infinite water source block underneath and pipe up water into it to fill it not needed not needed at all and I tested these uh, these work up here so I've got my two apples there and I can make uh, apple juice, which requires the juicer and two apples. Well, there's the juicer way up there. So as long as it's connected by something, it all works. And this here, the kitchen corner, I, I was going to make another one of these kitchen counters and stick it there, but uh, I, I like the little backsplash that connects around and it's at the same height as the, the, the oven here. So yeah, I, I'm liking that. This means now that I can look at stuff and, oh hey, cornflakes, it tells me it's not yet eaten. So perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and make a cornflake and let's see, what else can I do? I mean, cotton fish lettuce wrap. Well, I can do that too. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and generate a bunch of stuff there and these I haven't eaten yet either. And here, let's, uh, well, let's see. That can go here in the counter. We don't need to store water in the fridge because you know. uh, here's what I've been doing as far as getting my hunger. Uh, and, and looking at, it, I'm getting the occasional little jiggle of my hunger bar there. So I, I take off my armor, and then I just come over here and I stand in the fire just a little bit. Not a lot, <laughs> just a little bit. 
if I stand in it too long and I catch on fire, I have my little water right there. I got down to half a heart <laughs> at one point. Uh, that was not very good. So what I need to do is I won't heal anymore since I'm at uh, one and a half haunches down, but now I can start eating stuff like this spaghetti. It looks like this will has a hundred noms, so let's go ahead and nom it. There's one nom. Yep, that's one nom, and that counts. Let's go ahead and raw carp. Uh, you can cook all these fish, and they just become cooked fish, which is, you know, kind of boring. And there's two done, and let's take one of these green heart fish. And there, you know, I've, I've eaten all of those things, and I just continue doing the the same thing over and over and over uh royal nuggets this is made for and from royals <laughs> uh so i i uh, slaughtered some royals to get the truck no that was one of the uh, things i got from the the loot boxes so yay more food so that's what i'm gonna do here for the next little bit is um just hurt myself and um eat me a whole bunch of food until i get my 10th heart and there we go I was expecting it to take at least a whole bunch more food before that kicked in, but I'm happy that it did. And uh, let's come back over here and get a little uh, sparkly action. Boing! <laughs> uh, with the update, uh, the particle effects on these uh, Chaos Pylons uh, kicked back in. And so they, uh, they, while they've got the recharge, they also will pump out stuff. Not that it matters. Anyway, so uh, let's go over to here. And let's see. I need my life. What happened to my... All right, all right. Let's find this out. Uh, sugar cane. I thought it was the life essence, life infusion. Oh, okay. It's, it has no life in the name. It's the infusion stone. All right. That's what I need. There he is. And I need some nuggets. Some of you nuggets. And I need some melon. Hey, three. Perfect. I thought at some point I'd brought some over. So chemical reactor, three of you, and eight times three of you. I figure it was just as easy to snag all of those. Because why not? All right. There you are. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and stick that in the offhand. And let's come over here to a pumpkin. It's almost certainly have grown. Yep, there's one. All right, this should get me a sugar cane. Now, it, 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 that seemed like that was a whole lot less than nine and a half hearts. That really seemed like it was a whole lot less. But I'm not going to complain too much because I've got sugar cane. Now, I want to grow that. Uh, sand. There's also the other funky stuff, the the sand. Uh, just regular sand, sand. Why is everything else showing up on here? Uh, snad. That's what I'm looking for, snad. Uh, so it's just sand, 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 and bone meal. Can do. Oh, here, let me just eat this while I'm waiting. No. Not that I could eat it, but uh, I just don't want to. Uh, sand. Uh, you and you and you and you. And bone meal. Oh, got two. So perfect. Let's go ahead and get some snad. And I can go back in there. And we'll eat the potato. Oh, two potatoes. All right. So I'm, I'm not really needing this very much anymore. So let's... Will this fall? <laughs> I should have tested it elsewhere. <laughs> All right. Well, it's a good thing that I had two of the uh, the bone meal over here. So let's go ahead and make another. <laughs> well, let's let's see. I'm I'm not uh, dumb too many times. Let's grab another set of slabs. <laughs> All righty. Let's go there, and I'll clean that up later. Hey, other side. Jump, fly, there. <sighs> of course it's sand. So, oh, this needs to be next to water. 
Yes, yes, this also needs to be next to water. I, I remember my Minecraft stuff. I do. So let's go ahead and go thump like that. And now I need some water and water. And now it should grow. There it goes. Perfect. All right, so I just need to, because I'm it's my one and only. There's no way I'm going to go ahead and, and do anything with this. So I need to wait for this to go ahead and grow at least one other piece for me. And uh, then I can uh, finish what I've been waiting to do. Grow, 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 grow. Come on, Fido. Chat with me. Grow, 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 grow. And just like that. We've got sugarcane. I, I went ahead and, and uh, added some more around here, and it uh, just occurred to me I should check. Uh, yeah, F7 shows no lights, which is good. I, I put the, the pumpkin that was up here, a jack o' lantern, down below. So uh, I went ahead, and it seems like the watering can really perks those up, and which is not what I expected, but that's okay. I'm not going to complain. And let's go up to this floor already because what I'm looking for, let's take one of you, that's what I was waiting for, and I need one of you, and I also need the wand. Let's come over here, it's almost there, so let's toss you onto that. The rest of the sugar cane can get tossed into the system. Wand says it's done. Cool beans, let's come over to this piece. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Uh, there's my ter terrestrial agglomeration plate. I always want to say terrestrial, but no, it's... Uh, no, well, terrest... Yeah, yeah, that's that's terrestrial. Okay. I, I, it's not terrestrial, it's terrestrial. All right, um, so that is now my completed setup there. I need a spark. I've got an extra, so yay. Let's drop that there. And now to make the Terra Steel, I need one of you and uh, stuff I don't have. I need an iron, one of you. And I need a pearl, one of you. All right, let's go ahead and make these. You and you. There's my bits. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off my ring of magnetization just because that's a problem. And I think I can right click this now. Oh, I love that. That is fantastic. And is that, yep, there it goes. All right, so it's getting mana from all of these. I think it needs like a half a mana pool to make these bits. So that sucked it all down. I need those. Now to complete this, I, I've got my my gateway here for the, the elven gateway and that I believe I need some more living wood if I remember the recipe it's three of you like that yes that's my elven gateway core so let's put that here and it needs to be activated now to be activated that uh, let's see do I have my book here I do because the book will tell all. So there's the portal, which we've got, and it needs two of these Natura pylons kicking around. Ooh, Eyes of Ender and Mana Pylons. How to make, shift click. Um, more Mana Steel and Mana Diamonds. Okay, that's that's easily done. So let's, uh, Diamonds, I need two of you. And then Iron, I need four of that. And then I need some gold. And I think, what did I need? The, the mana pylons and then that, oh, an Eyes of Ender. And I think I have a few of those kicking around. I do. So let's go ahead and make those and make those. All right, so. Uh, there and there and there there's my two pylons and then this goes like this around that those there and there's my two pylons that go on top and I th think I will probably put one here just because there's lots and one over here those are cool looking 
Okay, I like them. Can I walk through them? Nope. All right, so those are cool. I, I didn't want to put it over here because I've got my uh, alchemical catalyst underneath. And when I get the other catalyst, and I can never remember the Natura catalyst, whatever, uh, that one's going to go over there. And that, that should work out just fine. So at this point, I should be good to go as far as turning on. This doesn't have to be in any location. They just have to be like in eight, 16 blocks. Let's go back to here. And least two Natura pylons, yes. Um, they may be laid out in an 11 by 11 area around the core. So, yes. Uh, no, actually, because 11 by 11 around here would be five. One, two, three, four, five. It's not close enough. Let's check. I lied. Maybe. Nope, nope, nope. See, there, there's nothing here. That's why it died. So, yes, these are not close enough. Dang it. I was hoping they would be much closer. Well, they're not, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, these guys are not going to do me any good right here. Come to me. I'll just put my uh, magnet back on. You do not want to lose any of these. All right, so I've got two more mana pools here. Let's go ahead and stick them where they would be cool looking. You know, they would be cool looking right there. Why not? Uh, do need to... I do want to put more sparks on these, but I don't have any additional sparks. Not that I, I can have anything to move the, the stuff, even if I wanted to. So I need more mana. All right, I'm going to need to make a mana spreader, and uh, that's always loud, and get some mana into these. I think they need about uh, like a, a quarter of... You know, it's been so long, I don't know how much mana I need in there, but probably at least a quarter of a, a mana pool in each. And then, once it's activated the portal, it doesn't need to do anything more. One, two, three, four, five. They don't have to be right there. Let's try moving them. And let's put them here, because why not? I think that looks kind of cool. That should be within range. So, uh, yeah, now I've got to make more mana and get some from over there to here. It just occurred to me, I don't need to set up any sort of um, mana spreaders to move the mana around. I've got this mana ring, and I dumped some mana into there, so I can just go ahead and go spit, and that will suck some mana out of my ring into the mana pool, and that should be sufficient. See, that's about that much. Oh, I've got my wand. Yeah, that should be enough there. Oh, that's enough there. That should do me. Let's hit that. Yep, see, there's the sparklies going in. And I th think they're pretty much just going to emit sparklies from now on as far as uh, that. So, yeah, see, that went down about an eighth, looks like. Yeah, so about an eighth. Now, let's go ahead and toss in the Botanica book. But doing there's the upgraded one. Now it's got uh, information about the elven stuff. So yeah, a bunch of information there. Cool. Uh, that's very, very handy. And uh, I also want to take a mana pearl and toss that in. Pretty much anything else is not something that you want to toss in. Uh, let's go ahead and put the pixie dust there. That gives me a recessive spark, which is nice. Uh, this recessive spark means that anything that goes to the, the, the pool with that spark will instantly push to all other ones. And I'm thinking this one is going to power my runic altar, so no. Uh, that's going to be my catalyst one. This is another catalyst one, so it's going to go on this one. And there, see, it's just shoving its mana elsewhere. And uh, you should be pretty much, yeah, <laughs> that's got trace amounts, I think. All it had was in there, yeah, just a teeny tiny trace amount. Uh, so now, as I pump mana into the system, it's going to distribute it to these four, and then this one will continue to distribute across the rest. So, yay! That will certainly work. Um, actually, I can, I can toss all of them out here, just like this. And then all of a sudden, the very loud whomph, just like that. And then I pick up whatever it didn't get eaten.
So that will work, and that means I need to pump a lot more charcoal out here to get that working. And this is a very workable um, botania spot up here. Oh, oh, I didn't show this off. This is my claconia, uh, and I it's bound to that pool, I believe. So when I need clay, uh, so sand, all I need to do is just grab a stack of, of my uh, sand here and then just <laughs> drop it nearby. And if it's on any of these blocks, it just... Oh, it's using that pool, so it's almost completely out. Let's bind you to that pool so you, you will have more supply. So this will get me clay. This is so much faster than um, doing it with uh, making sand. And, um, you know, I, I keep forgetting. Did I show you this? I think I showed you my, my rod of lands. Uh, now I can just sit there and... Oh, I have no mana on me. Uh, when I have mana, I can sit there and just right-click this, and it will go ahead and uh, make me uh, dirt blocks, which, you know, hooray, that is exactly what I'm... I, I, I don't have to worry with snowmen. I don't have to do any of the other methods of making dirt. I can just do that. Oh, that's so nice. So that's a quick and easy way of making a lot of dirt, and then I can also come into here when I want to clay and just go like this and in a super super short amount of time I've got clay I like it I you know I, I could automate this but I just got a stack of these clay balls I don't think I'm needing a huge amount right at this point but you know who knows maybe later so yeah I think we're pretty good for the day I, you know a pretty decent amount of work done and now that I've got this unlocked, that gives me access to uh, the elementium, the, the mana dust, some other uh, bits and pieces there. I also have uh, access to a lot more food that will give me a lot more uh, hunger back really fast, which is very nice. And I can push for another 50 recipes and get yet another heart, which is pretty cool. Uh, also, sugarcane, that unlocks a, a few things, and that makes me happy too. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here on the Modern Skyblock 2 server, getting a few things done. Thanks for watching. Bye.